This technology integration tip focuses on adding specific HTML widgets to your blog. So for an example, remember we talked about previously in the other tech tip on how to add regular widgets. One widget that you can add is called an HTML widget. What that does is that allows you to create some type of Web 2.0 product and if it gives you an embedded code, for example, a Voki here, this guy, uh, I can go to Voki.com and I can create him with my voice, create the character, and then when I hit play, the character is going to speak hey, with my voice. To the technology integration tips blog at Mannheim Central. The purpose of this blog is to help provide you with ideas. On so that I used that Voki there in order to explain how to use this blog. If you create your own Voki, at the end it will give you an embedded code. In order to take that code, you need to copy that code and you need to paste it in an HTML widget. All right, other types of HTML widgets that are available is one that's called Cluster Maps. The Cluster Maps is neat because it shows you a red dot for all the people in the world who are accessing your blog. If you click on the Cluster Maps, and all you do to create this is you go and create an account in clustermaps.com, and it's going to give you a code. You're going to copy that code, and you're going to add it to an HTML block. But notice here it shows me all the red dots all over the world where people are accessing my blog, and then it gives me some current country totals, and I can see the different countries who where my blog has been accessed, which is just kind of fun, uh, a neat way to be able to see exactly um, what's going on there, who is accessing my blog. I also have a live traffic feed that shows me specifically in the na last hours or a couple minutes or so where people are that are accessing my blog. All right, I can go on real time view to be able to see it and to see which browser they're using to be able to access my blog and what they're accessing. All right, and to to get to that ac that um, service, you would just go to sign up at the live dot feedjit.com as you can see is the URL up here and you could create an account and it'll give you a code again to be able to insert into your sidebars. So in order to get these codes you first have to add the HTML widget. So you go to your dashboard and under your appearance section you're going to look for your widgets. So when you click on widgets now the thing you have to be careful with, some of these are a little finicky. Um, if they're not in your available widgets section, you can scroll down to see the inactive widgets and you can make them active. Or if you don't see them there, you could go to your plugins over here on the left hand side and activate, choose them all, do a bulk actions and activate all of them. So a plugin, once it's activated, it becomes a widget. All right, so now in the widget section, I drug over what's called HTML JavaScript adder. All right, so this section here is where I added, I pasted the code in there that I got from my Voki, from Voki.com. Now, once you use the HTML JavaScript adder, you can't use it again. All right, so you have to have it over here already. So I had two over here that I was able to use. So notice that HTML JavaScript adder here, and then here's another HTML JavaScript. There was also a widget called text that I drug over here. All right, the text doesn't work for most HTML, except it does work for the cluster maps. So if you want to use the cluster maps, just add the HTML text. You don't have to put a title in, paste the code the cluster maps gave you, and then hit save. The other one I have here is the HTML JavaScript adder. This is where the code was that I added from the live traffic feed on my blog. So once you drag these over here and you open them up, you just copy and paste the code that you receive from the site. All right, some teachers are using Scholastic News Book Wizard. So that gives you a code that you could put on your sidebar. All right, any of those codes though, you can also, if you don't want it in your sidebar and you want it in a post, for example, you can go to your post section, click on add new, and notice your tabs, you're in visual. Click on HTML, paste the code in here, and then add a title and publish it to a category, and now it will actually reside in your blog itself. This technology integration tip was focusing on adding HTML code widgets or posts.